Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome once again. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is your homeboy Big B and once again welcome to African in the Diaspora. Today I have a very wonderful guy, man. Today is gonna be a good one, all right? This guy is doing awesomely well. He is very humble, very down-to-earth guy. And I am privileged to talk to my brother, all right? So without much ado, Let's bring him in. Brother Al! Ah. Yes, <laughs> How are you doing, man? That's good, man. That's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Thank you for, you know, bringing us over. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, our audience want to uh, see what you do and, you know, how you go down. And it's it's looking good around here, man. It's looking good. It's all you, dog. Yeah, all me. It's all good. Yeah, we're almost done, too. Yeah. yeah. Introduce yourself and tell us about your business. Oh well, what can I say? My name is Al. Uh, born, and, born and raised in Ghana. I've been here for the past 15 years in Edmonton. Uh, 15 years in Canada. I haven't moved anywhere else but in Edmonton. Edmonton. <laughs> and uh, when, I first initially, when I initially came here, I did um, safety. And then I realized there was a um, need for landscaping. Right. You know, I mean, I called around to get some landscaping done at my own house and I couldn't find a good service. Wow. So I was like, well, you know what? I might as well guess, you know. Get into that kind of line, yeah. yeah. So I started mowing lawns. You know, I'll go and knock at people's doors and say, hey, you know, do you want your lawn mowed? And for 20 bucks or 30 bucks or whatever you have, just give it to me. Right? I started doing that and then eventually from lawn mowing into hardscaping, which is yeah. the grading and what you're seeing right here. So yeah, that's how I got into the business. And um, yeah, 
Wow, that's, that's <laughs> really nice to hear. Yeah, that's it. Start yeah. from the bottom, now that's we're right, here. Man. That's right, man. That's <laughs> right, man. All from the bottom. Yeah. What is the busiest time for landscaping? It's definitely in the summer. Like summer is really busy. Yeah. But, you know, spring and fall, you know, we don't really get too much into um, it. But it's not, um, it's not high demand for it in my, in my, um, in my okay. So I focus on landscaping right. just during the summer. And then, uh, yeah, you know, we work our way all the way to the winter. You know, just yeah. Snow removal. Yeah. So you do snow removal as yeah, well? Yeah, all year round. Eh? All year round. All year round. Wow, that's yeah. good. We finish landscaping and then continue to snow removal. Yeah. And then uh, sometimes we do spring clean up for commercial properties. That was what I was going to yeah. ask you about spring clean. Do you guys yeah. do spring clean? Yeah, we do. So, yeah, we do spring clean up for that. We do for color drop. Yeah. We call it clean up so. But usually, you know, lots of things is all we do. Okay, so I... I uh, do you work for like people who are building? Or um, are you restricted to like building? Ah, uh, we do homeowners as well. Yeah, we do homeowners. You know, I personally, you know, I work mostly for builders, and then uh, the builders refer me to the homeowners. Right. So I do all the grading, and then after how it has to sew, then they usually give my phone number to the homeowner, say, hey, this guy did my grading for me. When you want to get done, you just hire him. Wow. That's how I get it. Nice. Yeah. That's really good. What are some of the challenges when you started? What are some of the challenges that you face as a, as a business owner? It's all because when you're just with financing, you know, you yeah. started, you know, like this is a challenge. You know, but in my case, you know, I was um, a bit lucky enough to be working for an oil sons, so I was able to save, save, save some money, basically buy some equipment. But definitely financing and you know also going out there to find your own job is not easy. Right. So if you're going out there with no experience, you have to know sometimes, you know, people don't know you. So it's the cost of money from the future then, what right. you do. Right. Right. So yeah, that's a challenge as well. Well, yeah. And uh, how about um, this period of uh, COVID-19? How has it affected uh, your business? I personally, it hasn't affected me personally. It hasn't at all. We are busy, but right now we are looking for next year. We're not taking any more new clients this year because it's the whole book this year. Yeah. But the only challenge is, you know, the clients pay you ahead of time because of the profits. Right. right. But the work is there, but sometimes it's just slow in payment. Payment. Yeah. Payment, right? Yeah. Other than that, you know, the work is there. So basically, uh, your challenge. Well, COVID-19 is a slow payment. Yes. The work is there, but people don't have the money to pay. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, yeah. they're supposed to. Yeah. And also, you need some really good help, really good workers too. You know, some people come in and, you know, they work for a few months and then, you know, they have to go yeah, yeah. somewhere else. So, that's the challenge. So, and when that happens, basically, it slows you down because you got to find a new person and train, and train, train them again. again. Right? Yeah. So, that's another challenge on the face, but in terms of being busy, all right guys so um i'll put his number uh his contact info in the comment section and uh he's booking like he said he's booking for next year so call him and book for your grading book for your landscaping book for your snow removal all that you know i mean this guy is oh, yeah year round Oh, yeah, Hustler, you know oh, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah.
how do people reach you, man? Well, I guess the easiest way to reach me is usually my cell number. Just give me a text or a call, and then I'll be on the estimate or whatever you're talking about. Also on Facebook, I think it's um, AK Urban Speed on Facebook. Okay. And I also have a, uh, have a website as well, AK Urban Speed at gmail.com. Yeah. Alright, guys, you all heard. I'm going to put all his contacts info in the comment section. And please, 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 if you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for, man? Absolutely. Push that button. Push that button. Absolutely. Let's go. Let's go. Let's this go year, this. we got to reach 1,000 subscribers, y'all. We have to. We have to. Yeah. Thank you very much once again, brother. It is a pleasure. Absolutely. It's a pleasure. Yeah, man. It's a pleasure. I'm happy you guys came and, you know, thanks for coming out. and. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions at all, I'll always be around. That's right, that's right. Thank you, man. All right, y'all. Right. Right, I'll see you in my next video. Peace! That's right.